Hello, instructors, students who are trying to understand how to create homework or tests on your MindTap slash Singage. So let's say you have a course that is linked to MindTap Singage, and you have to create a test bank or a final exam or a homework on your Singage. So the first thing you want to do on your LMS, which for which I have Canvas here, you always go to your Singage icon, and then you have to select your content. And then you find all the material here, okay? Because then from here onwards, you can click on any course that you want, coursework that you want associated or seen by your students on this page, your Canvas page, to be submitted um, via your canvas so you have to bring the coursework from Singage um, to your canvas in order for the students to see and submit in your um, canvas from Singage or MindTap so let's say it's a case study right so you click here and you confirm and you will see it under your modules and you put them in the right place but let's say if you're trying to create a final exam here, right? For the students to just do it on, on their own, but you don't see it here, okay? So when I go down here, I've already created one, so I see it here, but let's say you do not see it here. What is it that you need to do? So the first thing I'm gonna go is I'm gonna go to Cengage Mind Tap log into the Cengage mind tab go to my relative course which is associated with that particular canvas course that i'm instructing make sure that you um, have the right book because sometimes if i don't know how to get to my book i will just log into my particular course i will go under my modules and i will just click into any a course that is taking me to my book in Cengage and i will load whatever assignment it is it will take me to my singage related same textbook so i do not get into a wrong book okay so that is very important once i get into here i will just log out of my uh, coursework that i tried to get into and now i see this page so why am i here i am trying to create a final exam here so I can link this final exam from here to my Canvas page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on See Now icon on the right side of the page. And I will expand the page. First, I will search for any such exam already there. So I will just put a keyword, select Go. And let's say I don't see it, although I have it here, the one that I wanted to create but i don't see it here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an assignment so here i'm going to click either homework whichever whatever i'm trying to create or a test i will continue i will name it let's say i'm going to name it since i already have these three thingies i'm just going to name it final exam cpt3 continue again and now I have a list of all the materials for homework and test bank. So now let's say I'm trying to create a test because that's the name I created. So now when I click on the plus sign, it gives me the options of all the various chapters it has under the test bank. So I cannot, I cannot put all of them one together because it will be too difficult for it to sync all the material at once. So I'm just going to do one by one. Let's say I will select uh, modifiers chapter two okay so i will continue once i continue i am seeing the contents okay so how do i see the contents you will scroll down and you will see for chapter two the difficulty is moderate gradeability is manual or automatic and questions values are generated non-algorithmically so remember this is really important for me gradeability do i want to do grading manually or do i want to do it automatically so i am just going to undo the manual and select automatic which i have these choices available so um, i'm not gonna choose 
I'm not going to make any changes here. I can if I want to, but I don't want to because I want to see the questions first. So I will still continue and I will see the choices from chapter two here. Now I will, these are all questions that I do not see. So how do I see them? I will select and I will click again here. I'm able to see the question here and decide if I really want this question or not. So if I do, I will include this question under the included questions here. So I have a choice now and I will continue selecting and clicking on the questions as I like and including them here until I have a number of questions that I like to choose. Now remember there's a true and false, there is an FITB, there is a matching. So make sure that you're choosing these questions and they do not need to be um, under the manual grading because you don't, you're not doing the manual grading at all. So you're checking them and you're pulling them into the included questions. And once you are done selecting all your questions, you will continue. Once you continue, it will bring you a page, which means you are going to set uh, all the different rules for this test. So you will have a number of takes allowed. You have time allowed. If you want a certain time, you can put the minutes here, let's say 120 minutes, 150 minutes, whichever you want. If you have to have a restriction on the test, put a password, uh, possible score for individual questions, uh, which uh, answers you want to be finalized. Um, everything that you see here is your choice and you continue to create test after you are done. And now you have your final exam, chapter three. Okay, you can always delete. So I can delete them whenever I want to. But now how do I bring this and remember it says, no, it's not linked, right? I have to link it to my actual Canvas course. All right, I don't have that here. If I go to my, I remember I have created, created it on mind tap, but if I go here, I do not see the tap final test uh, part three. Okay, I do not see it yet because it is not yet linked here. So how do I do this? I will go back. And now I am going to go to my, I'm going to exit out of here. I am going to change the edit. I'm going to add and create activity from there. And then I'm going to select C now. And here I'm going to find my test that I created. And I'm going to use this link here to link this to my um to my actual canvas course once i continue here it will be linked to my um to my to my canvas page but i'm not going to do it since i have so many over here already but once you click here it will definitely be a part of your canvas page so let's say once i did this once i do that i will go down and you will see that it shows me my final exam right here. You can check it at the at the bottom of this page, it's showing you that you have this here. And once you finish linking it here, you can change the edit. Okay, because then it will finalize everything. And then when you go back to your Cengage and you log into your uh, uh, Cengage from here, as we did before, right from here, you will be able to see your final exam written right here. Okay, so you have it posted here. Now you can create question banks, which I will make another video because it's gonna to be too long over here. So uh, you can watch the next video for how to create a question bank in your Canvas using the Cengage test bank that you have just imported here. Okay, all right guys, good luck.